In this program, I'm going to take a look at one of the first American tanks, the Ford three-ton tank. In March 1918, at the height of World War I, the Ford Motor Company proposed to build a tank that was so simple and cheap that it would cost only about $4,000 a piece. The Ford tank was powered by two Model T engines and had a top speed of about 8 miles per hour. There was a two-man crew and the tank was armed with a single machine gun. The Army gave Ford a contract for over 15,000 tanks. Ford expected that it would be producing about 100 tanks a day by early 1919. The first test batch of 15 tanks arrived in France shortly after the end of the war. The U.S. Army Tank Corps in France was not at all enthused about the little tank. Its small size was not well suited to moving across the craters and trenches of the typical World War I battlefield. They recommended instead that it be used as a tractor to tow the 75mm field gun. In the end, only the first batch of 15 tanks was ever completed and the contracts were canceled after the war's end. A handful of these tanks remain in U.S. Army Museum collections. My model of the Ford 3-ton tank is based on an out-of-production resin kit from Jim Shirley Productions. The kit is a bit of a mixed bag. The basic hull and details are cleanly cast and sharply detailed. The tracks and suspension are very simplified and not well detailed. This model is quite small, so I thought I would add a 75mm gun limber to the display. The limber is an excellent resin kit from the French firm DES. I also wanted to show a figure with the tank to give it a sense of its small size. The three-ton tank was tested at Aberdeen Proving Ground, often by civilian crews. So I adopted a Resin Nation 135th scale Hungarian tank crew figure for this vignette as a civilian. Overall, this was a fun little project of a very obscure tank. 